Cam Williams and Ace Amerson are star in the Challenge All Star Season Four coming to us Wednesday, April tenth on Paramount Plus with back to back episodes. Thank you both so much for your time today. Thank you Thank so you. much for having us, Rudy. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and start with you. Congratulations on the brand new baby. And also, thank you so much for sharing, you know, your journey with new parents and expecting parents. Thank you so much. It's it's amazing. I love to be able to share it with my community. Um, and I, I love being a mom. I love it more than anything in this world. Uh, awesome. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about that, you know, towards the end of the interview. But let's go ahead and talk about the Challenge All-Star Season number 4. Uh, Ace, you were in the, in the very first All-Stars. Tell us a little bit about, you know, something from that very first one that you're trying to take with this or maybe a good lesson that you learned of, like, here's what I definitely got to do for season number four. Well, I broke three ribs on the, the first challenge. So the, the not breaking any ribs is my number one concern. Um, pole wrestle, I think pole wrestle, is, it's, it's as close to a fist fight as you can possibly get. So uh, I, I hope to God I never have to do that ever again. But um, so, yeah, the, I, I wasn't on there very long, so I'm excited to get to get the chance to come back so I can, you know. Everybody loves a redemption not, story. Everybody not, loves not a die. comeback story as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> not die. That's my biggest part of this. <laughs> that's the, well, you're here right now, so that, that's, a, that's a very good sign. $300,000 yeah. is on the line. Plus, we have to get stars that could also be stolen. I mean, this is a, a, an insane twist. Cam, tell us a little, a little bit about that. The stars, it was definitely an insane twist because you're either playing on the offense and trying to get a star because you need a star to make it to the final. Or if you have a star, you're on the defense, so you're trying to keep it safe. And the only way to keep it safe is is if you are a winner of that daily challenge. So, it, yeah, it's going to be a really interesting season because are you going to be one of those people trying to protect your star and are you willing to go back into elimination to, to get your star back if somebody was to steal it. The, the, that is the yeah, same. We cannot wait, just, wait there's, no, there's no way to, like, stay in the middle. You can't play the game safe because you'll never have an opportunity to, to make it to the end. So mm -hmm. I like that that part of it. So you cannot really play cool. a scared game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's anybody's yeah. game. Um, But when you, when you guys were announced for, for a part of being part of the show, was there anything you had to do either, like, to mentally prepare yourself to face your fears? Um. Is it anything, you know, for you as far as, like, speed, heights, water, darkness? Ace, let's go ahead and start with you as far as, like, how you had to mentally prepare yourself for this. Man, speed, heights, darkness, I'm scared of all that. <laughs> Everything you just said, I, I don't know how to prepare for any of that. So, uh, and I definitely don't have speed right now. So, um, but my, my plan for this one is to try to, to act slower but think more, think faster, and just try to really think about the things that other people aren't thinking about. So that's because I had no way of actually beating anybody with like speed or strength or anything like that. So what about for you, Kev? Well, first of all, Ace, I feel like you're good at everything, but <laughs> at, at, you at, lie, but you sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and in regards to myself, to be honest, um, at the time of going on a show, I was eight months postpartum. So with that, I was experiencing a lot of postpartum anxiety so even with being at home, one of the things that made me super anxious is like was driving in a car. Like I, I was just afraid to even drive in the front seat, right? And even if I was the passenger. So going on the show, I knew that heights would be one of those things for me that like, am I gonna be able to, to overcome that in that moment? So that was the only thing that I was like, oh my gosh, well, I like, that was a fear for me. Like, will I be able to do this? But everything else, I, I was fine because heights is a fear for everyone. But it was just way more heightened for me. For that, I want to ask both of you, and Ace, I'll go ahead and start with you. As far as everybody else on the show, because you both have been part of so many seasons, friendships, uh, alliances, but you got to keep your guard up because you don't know, you know, how this challenge is going to go about. But tell me a little bit about, you know, kind of seeing everybody else once you knew they were going to be part of the show. Um, yeah, alliances and friendships are a, definitely a big part of this this game, especially the way this is set up, and uh, and then. Yeah, you can lose friends too if you're not careful. And and so I had to call Brad. You know, he's a big muscular Brad, and I had to apologize to him because I just misread some things. And he's kind of a scary dude. So it's a, it's a, it's a. And we've been friends for since the '90s. It feels like so. <clears throat> it's a, it's it's a difficult part of it, but it was uh, the most rewarding part, also. So, what about for you, Cap? Obviously, for me, going in with Lee, that is the only person I needed. It was like, is 
we're Bonnie and Clyde. It's me and my man against the world or the house for this matter. But <laughs> so going into this game with somebody that I could trust like through and through and had no worries about, that was really all I needed. But it was also great to see some familiar faces like going into the game. I know that Lee and Brandon, they are super close and tight or Missy and Cara. I'm like, that's, that's like one of my girls in real life. Um, so just seeing certain people, I was looking forward to knowing that I have a solid alliance going in. And, and Kim, you know, I, I wanted to chat with you uh, briefly but before we wrap this up, as far as motherhood and how it changed you as far as, as the game goes, because obviously you become a little bit more protective. You can read, you know, people, um, you might have different fears than before parenthood. I mean, tell us a little bit about, you know, postpartum joining the uh, the show. I think with going into the season and being a mom, I was going to play more of a straightforward to the point, no nonsense game because I have an eight month old at home and I'm coming here to play this game with y'all. So yeah, I don't have any time to waste. I'm not just trying to like, let me just ride this out and do nothing. I'm actually envisioning going to the final. Who do I want to see in this final with me? So I'm intentionally trying to make some big game moves. And it's either like play hard or go home for me. So I'm willing to take these huge risks. It's a win if I make a huge game move that's going to make my final that much better. Or it's going to be another win for me if I made a big move and go home because of it. Because I'm going, I'm coming back home to the most amazing baby in the world. So that's how I looked at it. I literally have nothing to lose. I only had wins to gain. Awesome. Well, good luck to, to both of you. Cannot wait to watch. Cam Ace, thank you so much for your time today. April 10th, go ahead and catch back-to-back -back episodes of The Challenge All-Stars Season number four on Paramount+. Plus. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so much for having us. Thank you.